Hello everyone, my name is Daniel, watching Exo Photography. It's been almost a year since I uh, had anything to do with solar photography. Um, the last time was when I was live sending the solar recrypts here on my YouTube channel. And I was thinking that why not making a video in more depth of the gear I am using. I also found a my old focus motor, which I was thinking that why not attach that one? So that is what we are going to take a closer look to today. Here we have the main telescope. This is a Lunt 60 millimeter, um, pressure tuned and uh, standard Crayford focuser. Here we have the diagonal with a, a B1200 uh, blocking filter. Hydrogen telescope. Uh, I don't have to tell you guys that you shouldn't be looking at the sun without a proper telescope. And a proper telescope in this sense is one that it's uh, saving your eyesight. On top here, I have a main own solar finder. It's a hole in the front here, and it is projecting a, a dot at uh, the black marker here. So in front of the telescope, you have a energy block filter, but the true magic is happening in this red module here. So there are two versions of these kinds of telescope. They have a mechanical tilt, um, a small wheel you can adjust, or you can have this one, the pressure tuned uh, Lunt telescope etalon modules. So this is a filter. It's called a etalon filter. And I will quote the Lunt webpage here. So an etalon is comprised of two flat and parallel optical surfaces that have been optically coated with a high reflective dielectric layer, with the high reflecting layer peaking at the desired bandpass point for the best result. So the best pan result is actually the uh, wavelength of the hydrogen alpha in this case. These optical surfaces are separated by a gap. This gap can be either air or solid material. The light resonates in the gap by internal reflections of the highly reflected layers of the surface. Through interference at this gap, only light meeting the correct angle of incidence to the surface and is not interfered with can pass. All other light is lost. So basically, there are two mirrors. Well, they're not mirrors, they're letting light through in, in either direction. And with this pressure tuned uh, knob here, we are adjusting the angle between those mirrors. Here we have a standard Crayford. Uh, don't need to tell you that, guys. Back here we have the, the diagonal. And as you can see inside here, it's a another filter and that's the blocking filter first of all we need to unscrew this old knob now we're going to attach um, the coupling for the motor Here we have the old focus motor. Um, it's a USB and focus. I believe it's from France. I have a standard um, attachment plate here, uh, which I had to grind off to get that uh, to fit somewhat. The fit is not going to be 100% perfect, but um, I believe it will work. And I am using the locking screw for the Crayford. Um, 
when I have attached this motor, I don't need to be able to lock the crayfold because uh, the motor is uh, applying uh, some, uh, some torque to it. Need to tighten down the screws for the coupling here. This is the control box for the motor. Uh, it has some manual button for in and out. You can also attach a temperature sensor uh, for compensating the focus. You can choose powering the focus motor uh, either via USB or external power. I'm going with the USB because I'm not going to attach uh, anything heavy. So let's try it the USB first. I have now attached the focus motor to the controller and I have connected the controller to my computer uh, which is sitting next to me here. I have downloaded the latest version of SharpCap and I also installed the ASCOM drivers for this one. As I mentioned before, it's manual buttons and you can run it in and out without causing vibrations or anything here. But I can also run it from the computer so I can adjust the coarse focus and the fine co focus. Um, right now I've entered 500 steps, so I'm going 500 steps in and 500 steps out. So that is working beautifully. Let's talk a bit about the camera I am using. So I'm using this one, the ASI-178 and the size of the chip inside of this fits just perfectly together with the uh, 1200 blocking filter which is uh, attached to uh, this scope. It gives me the whole solar disk in uh, one frame so that is just perfect. I can also use my PowerMate uh, 2.5 magnifier uh, to get close up of the prominences and such.
it's truly amazing to be able to sit here in the uh, outdoor lounge um, having my solar telescope out there. What I've done is that I have aligned, or rather I haven't aligned the mount and the telescope. I actually just slew it to the sun and then I adjust the tripod legs so that the sun is hitting my homemade uh, sun searcher on top of the telescope. I then hooked up the camera and my new newly attached focus motor. It's just amazing just to be able to fine tune the focus uh, directly from the computer because you really don't want to be sitting out in the sun. I have a matte screen on my computer but even so I can't sit out in the sun. I need to sit in the shadow be able to really uh, take a look at the sun disk and trying to get uh, as much details as possible. I also want to mention the uh, tuning knob. The pressure tuner uh, itself uh, makes you be able to reveal some more details of the solar disk. You can't do that without fine tuning that. I have just recorded one minute, 2000 frames uh, approximately, uh, of the surface of the sun. I'm now going to bump up the exposure time so that I can see the uh, prominences of the sun. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, here we are. We have the region of interest set down just a little bit here. I will now try to just bump up the exposure time here. And here we go. We have some beautiful prominences here. I'm going to adjust the focus I'm down to 50 steps right now. So, okay, there we go. And our try to start the capture here for one minute. So at the bottom here you can see the uh, FPS and uh, how much time is left on the recording. Those promises today are huge and <laughs> the sun is so active right now. But as of now the telescope is working absolutely lovely and the focus motor too. I will try just chill here and try to get as much details as I possibly can. Hopefully we'll get a result in the end of the video.